everybody, this is Robin from Pair That's Not Normal and Circles in Stone. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new subscription box. Uh, this is the first in a series. So when you sign up for this Soul Spell Society box, what they do is they start you with an initiatory box. It's a, a welcome kit, as you will. Um, so this is what this is, it's called the Novice Box. And then after that, there'll be a monthly subscription box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Novice Kit. And it's a witchy subscription kit for those that are um, new to the craft or those that just want uh, other viewpoints. So I opened it up and then there's this tissue and a wax seal. And the wax seal has um, some sort of a, like a sun, looks like. Oh, it's a hand, I think maybe their logo. It's their logo. So it has their logo on it. It's really cute. Smells really good. So inside, you get this uh, plastic wrapped item and this is all the literature that tells you what, what uh, looks like ritual circle, a lot of um, novice material and um, good beginner kit. So I would almost uh, say it's a beginner's kit. So the welcome box is uh, about circle casting. It says you're all around, you're up and down, north to west, east to south, as above and so below, and so it is. Now off you go. It's <laughs> so cute. The welcome box, circle casting. And I'm not going to reveal, you probably already saw what's in there. I didn't. So I'm not going <laughs> to ruin my surprise. So uh, it has uh, preparation. Like this is a little cheat sheet. This is so cool. It has a cheat sheet. And here uh, it has an initiate, and then it has the elements, and it gives you the association with the different elements, different items that you can use with the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. And it says you are ready to cast your circle. It has uh, preparation, and it, it, it tells you how to prepare. And a circle is an energy field you cast around yourself to both enhance your magic and to protect you from unwanted forces. It gives you an, uh, what tools you need, some tips, when to do it, and then how to close the circle and how to open the circle. This is so cool. Look at this. Open the circle, close the circle. This is clever. It's cute. A lot of thought went into this. So you get, okay, so this is something about a wand. So I don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to set this down for now. All right, I'll read you the welcome. Welcome to Soul Spell Society, my dear witch. The novice is the beginning of your journey with me, and I'm so grateful that you chose this box as a way to enrich your practice. Before we get started, I want to, you to know that each and every witch, each and every witchcraft tradition is different. I want to encourage you to find what is right for you, so don't compare your witchhood to that of another witch. Take your time in finding your unique path because witchcraft is unique to each individual. You try things, you experiment, you do it yourself, so there isn't only one way nor a right way to practice witchcraft. Diversity in witchcraft traditions is what makes being a witch so wonderful, so let your heart guide you. And that is what's really cool. It's finding your own path, your own way. It's flexibility, it's creativity. So as in any community, you'll encounter those who want to set limits, judge, or gatekeep. But you know that you are here to learn and explore. Don't allow those who aren't inclusive hinder your journey. Know that you don't need any material to become a powerful spellcaster. Magic is already within you, and that is true. You use your own energy you carry within you, and you can manifest, as well as natural laws and natural energy. Before you begin building your witchy collection and gathering supplies, you have to truly be open and ready to start your journey. That's what matters. Work on knowing that the power you have in you is the most important tool you'll ever carry. And there are three steps to achieve that. Self-care, intention, and belief. 
and I won't ruin this in case you guys want to subscribe. But that's the gist of it. That's really cool. You get a February uh, moon, well, in my case, because of when I ordered, uh, February moon calendar. So it has all the moon phases. Because the phase that the moon is in is crucial to whether you want to do constructive or deconstructive. Or I'm sorry, constructive or destructive magic. And then um, it has, I, I guess, you know, these are almost like little boxes that you can make notes in. It's always good to keep a journal to, to uh, journal your progress so you know what works for you and what doesn't. And then you can put down synchronicities, you know, like things that people quote unquote called signs. And usually those synchronicities let you know that, that the path is working or you're on the right path. So what's the magic word reference guide? Oh, cool. So this will help with some of the other subscription boxes, like when I do Witch's Moon, um, when I, I mention anointing oil and some of these other items, consecration. Um, th these are just basic terms and it's a little, little glossary. So that's cool. And you can see what kind of items they have in here, what kind of words. All right, let's get into the items. So, first thing I am drawn to is, and it looks like a large is a cinnamon stick. I believe it's a cinnamon stick. It has like a little black jet or obsidian um, moon, which is really cool, or black onyx. Um, and it's a bee sum. Cleanse your ritual space before and after you cast circle by sweeping the area without touching the floor or surfaces. Place this under your bed at night to protect you from night terrors and sleep paralysis. Sweep, sweep, sweep the ground. All the negativity shall be bound. I banish all that is profane. Only positive shall remain. Okay, that is cool. I'm gonna set that down. Get a triple moon soap. And I will open it. See what the soap looks like. So it's a it looks like a black. Oh, look at this! This is so cool, guys. It's got a triple moon in it. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at this. Oh, it smells amazing. I don't know if it's got anything on this little label here. Okay, so ingredients. It's a glycerin soap base with activated charcoal. And it's patchouli, orange, geranium, and lang lang essential oils. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to set that down. And then um, you get like, some candies. Some candies. A little butterscotch. I, I'm guessing butterscotch candies. Candy's always a good thing. And then what's this? This is a stone of truth. Protection, truth enhancing, mirror and clarity. It comes in a tea bag. Let me try to get it out of here. It's a little wedged. A little wedged. Ooh, obsidian, yep. This is really pretty. I wire wrap, I uh, do metal stamping. Um, this is really cute. I love this. this. And this kind of is almost inspiration for me for what I do to um, keep, keep at making jewelry. So I'm gonna set that down. That's very intuitive. Oh, here's a little stand for your moon calendar. So that's cute. So I can go ahead and uh, put that in there like that and then stand that up. Just stand that off to the side. Yep, just like that. See? That's cute. All right. And we get a bag of rosemary. Cleansing, protection, clarity, love, purification, healing. For your apothecary and then what we get <laughs> and I'm a huge uh, 
there's a certain program with dragons and uh, white walkers that I love and this just reminds me of dragon glass. So we got uh, black obsidian, stone of truth, uh, protection, transformation, and grounding. And it's a nice piece. It just reminds me, dragon glass. Okay, so I'm gonna set that down. And then what's in here, I get a cool box. It's an energy cleansing kit. And it's got little beads and that's cute. Cleansing the energy within and around you is essential for your practice, keeping your spiritual and emotional power well balanced. Energy is all around us, and part of the witchcraft practice is learning to move that energy, elevate its frequency, as well as learning how to create a protective shield so that external influences don't affect you nor your power. So we got, luckily that's in the bag, so you don't lose it, that little tiny, uh, there. A little black votive with some stones set in. You get, and luckily the cork held in there because that would have been a mess, but sage away. Energy cleansing sage spray. You get a spray top. And you get a little jar of uh, black salt. It says, uh, our soul spell society black salt is a mixture of black lava salt, charcoal, and black pepper. Black salt, also referred to as witch's salt, has the power to absorb negative energy and shield you from toxicity. Its reflective properties nullifies any negative influence directed at you, actively reflecting it back to its sender. <laughs> you can savor incense, ashes, or leftover herbs to create your own black salt mixture. And then consecrating your jar. And these are some terms that are in your glossary. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and kind of uh, reconstruct this a little bit. Um, glad that cork held, that would have been a mess. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put all that back together and set that aside. You get a lot of stuff in here. I bet you this is the wand, because I accidentally saw a little bit of uh, wand <laughs> when I was opening up some of those items. Oh, wow, look at that, that's so cool. Oh, wow, that's like my favorite color too, like royal blue, violet, um, and it's got an amethyst on the end. This is really pretty, really cool. This is a really impressive box. I had a hard time trying to find another box that I wanted in addition to Witch's Moon, and I, this is, is amazing. And then what do we get? We get, this is some sort of outfit. What does it say here? Moon child. <laughs> Look at that. It's satin. It says moon child. And it is, let me take a look here. It's a robe. So you get a satin robe that says moon child. And it's like uh, mid-length, like so. And it has a tie. So it's just kind of like, uh, probably a little bit past, uh, let's see, it's about, it's like a three-quarter, three-quarter robe. That is really awesome. So, uh, I'm gonna get this out of the way. So you get your besom, you get your obsidian necklace, you get your wand, you get your soap, which smells amazing. I'm gonna put on something because it's it is glycerin. Um, you get uh, your rosemary, you get a moon calendar with a stand, you get this, I'm gonna call it dragon glass, but no, it's uh, obsidian. And then you get this uh, pr protection kit or ener negative, is it energy clearing, energy cleansing kit in which you get your uh, black votive candle, your sage away spray, your little uh, jar of black salt. And um, yeah, and then you get all your, 
You get your glossary, your circle casting instructions, your welcome letter, and all about your um, wand and how to use your wand, how to charge your wand. So this was all, I think it was $60. So this is a really awesome kit. I highly recommend it. This is the novice box. This is the first box you're gonna get when you subscribe. Um, there's a, in the initial uh, sign up, you'll encounter uh, some questions. They ask you your ring size. They ask you your shirt size. Um, oh yeah, you also get your robe. <laughs> How could I forget that? Um, and uh, they ask if you've gotten your welcome kit yet. And so when you sign up, you, you're gonna wanna say you have not gotten it yet so that you get your welcome kit. And uh, I'm looking forward now to seeing what the next kit is going to be for next month, for the, the actual themed month. Your first kit will always just, it should be, I, I guess it should be all these items. So this is awesome, and I, I hope you sign up for it. I hope you love it like I do, and uh, I hope you do get all the same items. If not, I'm sure they will be amazing items. That's the Soul Spell Society subscription box, and this is the Novice box, the first box in the series, the Welcome Kit. All right, well, take care and stay tuned. I got Witch's Moon Box coming, it's on its way. So take care and see you later.